welcome back little coders to another video on my channel so in this fresh new playlist we're going to be talking about guis in roblox studio for this video particularly we're going to be talking about the introduction so i'm going to be introducing you to the basics of guis and what they are so without further ado let's get started let's go to welcome so fresh new playlist and in this video, we're going to be covering the basics slash properties and little happy boy right here. Now, let's go over to what is a GUI. A GUI is a 2D object that is displayed on your screen. These are used for lots of things. So many that there are people that professionalize in this topic, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to check my GUI notes quickly. These are mainly for me, but of course you guys can take a look at this as well. So text props, okay, just look through, yep. Okay, now let's get started. So in starter GUI, we are going to make our own screen GUI. So let's move on to this page here and let's create one. So starter GUI and we're going to click the screen GUI. This is going to be holding all of our GUIs so that it is visible on screen. Let's click the plus button and let's add something. There's things like frames, text buttons, text labels, image labels, labels, text boxes, and buttons. But I'm just going to work with the text label first. As has most of the things that I'm going to be explaining today, we're going to use it. So I'm going to take this label here and I'm going to make it nice and big. But right now, it looks um, not at its best. So we're going to fix that here by going over to its properties and while we're fixing this guy up uh, we're gonna be ex I'm gonna be introducing you to the things that you can do with this GUI here so before I start what the text label doesn't have any function as it is not a button or a frame or a scrolling frame what I'm gonna be teaching in other videos so all it does is just be is to be displayed on your screen this can be used for countdowns um, just notifiers, etc. Whatever you're going to use it for. So, now that I've got that out of the way, we can start customizing. I'm going to make the background. So I clicked on background over here. I'm going to make it a nice pastel noise. We can make it transparent if we want, but I'm going to keep it at full so that we can see this glamorous pastel we have. Now for the border color, we can change the border to whatever we want. I'm going to make it a sort of dark version of the other the other color here so that it has a cool shading effect. Now we're going to go to border size pixel and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to do a 10. Yeah, that's pretty good. And what else? Yeah, that's kind of it for the top. But you may notice that this text looks incredibly tiny and the font looks like garbage. We don't want that. We're going to change it, but before we do, I just wanted to show that this position here, position and size. Before, you may be wondering why these are here when we could just easily change the size, the size with our mouse. The reason why is because back in the olden days of Roblox Studio, you had to type in manually the size. You couldn't use your mouse, no, no, no. You had to type in manually the numbers so that you could put it at the right position. So having this is a great opportunity these days this is amazing we can use our mouse fabulous okay now that i've gone out of the way like i said this text looks like garbage so we're gonna fix that i'm gonna give this guy a little hair salon well wait no it doesn't have hair uh text salon yes yes so we're gonna make it have mm, we're gonna give it a font by the way we're gonna make it a code pretty convenient as this is a coding channel and what else we're going to change the text we can make it say whatever we want i'm going to say coders oops there now we're going to go and change the text color by clicking this i'm going to make it a white there we go or no not a white that looks way too light to see you know you know what yeah we're going to keep it at a dark blue for the sake of visibility that's a word and we can also change the size pretty important as we are here with this text I want you guys to be able to see it 
and we can change the text stroke. The text stroke is basically a, what do you call it, a border, but it's around the text instead of in a box. So we're going to change that to a darker version. So what color did I make that? Oops. Okay, I made a dark blue, so I'm going to make even a darker blue. So we're going to go here. We're going to make it only slightly peep out. Okay, yeah. Now we're going to make it so that the stroke is actually visible by making the stroke transparency go to zero. Then, after that, we, so we can sort of see it. It's not as visible, but it works. It works. So now that we've done that, we can also change the transparency of the text itself so we can make it go completely invisible if we wanted to. And uh, a couple more things and then we're going to be done talking about text. So text alignment, we can move these so that it goes into different positions when you type. So as you can see, left, right, center. Same thing with Y, so we can go to bottom, center, and top. Put back that back to center so that's evenly in the middle. The last thing I've saved it for last as it may be a little bit more complicated is oh uh, if I can find it yes text scaled. So we're gonna uncheck that. The reason why is because I want to show you what this can be used for. So if you see this, this is like another introduction here. Is this little square here with a phone and an iPad? If we click on that. It puts us into an iPhone 7. We can change the type of phone if we wanted to, like into a Galaxy Tab A. Oh, that's really big. Um, I'm not really sure how to zoom out. Oops. Uh, we're going to put that back to that iPhone 7 that we were on. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to move it. We can still function. The game still functions just as normal. The only difference is that we're sort of on a phone interface. So, it is kind of messed up, the UI, because we're on a different device, so it has a sort of different shape. But if we do check, if we do the check mark on text scaled, we can put that there, and it's practically in the same practically in the same place because of the scaling. It scales it so that it's in the right position, or it changes its position, sort of, so that it looks the same on both mobile and PC. So that's it for text, I bet you were going to think that I was going to say uh, video, but nope, we have a little bit more to do. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to GUI. So this is a lot of things actually, not to overwhelm, but to explain that there's not just text labels in the whole entire universe of GUI. So there's billboard GUIs, frames, image buttons, so there's like buttons like image button text buttons, labels, image label and text label, and boxes, and the screen GUI itself that holds all of it together, and surface GUI and billboard together. These things are more complicated as well, so I might save these for the end or the near end of the playlist, but all of this will be explained through my playlist about GUIs. So I hope you guys stick through to the end of the playlist and learn some more at the end. So. I'll be seeing you guys next mon not Monday, next Sunday with another video about GUIs. Bye.